They beat these Nittany Lions 10 to 8. And Penn State has won three out of the last seven meetings between these two clubs. Just about set to get underway with the opening draw. It's Gerard Arceri versus Inacio. And it looks like it's first to Inacio. And now Ohio State will get the first possession. Folds five points so far this season. Started all seven games. Totaled 16 points a year ago. So Penn State off and running here. And the initial draw, uh, the ensuing draw, excuse me, is won by Ohio State. And that's going to be Inacio with another win. And a ground ball, State would like to win it. It's Inacio versus Arceri. Haven't ta talked a little bit about the draws in this game. New Big Ten rule, uh, new face-off procedures, as both players have to have their feet planted on the ground. And it took Arceri some time to get adjusted to. Um, we have a face-off here, and it's going to be won by, as they still tussle for it, all the way on the far side, scooped up there by Bobby Burns for Penn State. So it's going to be a face-off. Not much going on for Ohio State's offense. Penn State finally finding some ball movement, some rhythm that they have been lacking all season long. Again, they have yet to score in the double digits so far this game. And Osseo twists one free, and Ohio State wins the draw. His first of the season. If you're Ohio State, you're liking what you see out of that offense, and hopefully that can get the game going for you. Scott White is first of the year. Thought the number six on his jersey looked like another number eight for a second there, but now Penn State has it on the near side. As the Buckeyes look to gain some momentum. Momentum is a big factor when coming into lacrosse here, Kyle. I mean, one, one minute you could be leading by three points, the next you can just be down in an instant. And Ohio State. Suing face off once again. Ohio State would like to ride a little bit of this momentum now. Face off twisted free and back towards our right. And looks to be scooped up by Arceri. And Penn State wins the draw. So Bolin takes it over the center line. Here's Arceri. And a 5 2 game. Face off violation on Penn State. So that makes it. But not causing Penn State to stay on the outside. They're creating seams to, for the Penn State attackers to go right down Broadway Lane. So Penn State. Penn State is taking advantage of the lack of pressure Ohio State is putting on them, and Ohio State needs to put pressure. And another face-off win from Ohio so State. Close one there. I mean, Ohio State, they need they need to prevent the transition opportunities. They're not really good in transition. They're trying to do too much. They're trying to defend well, as we have another opportunity here. And Penn State. Wiseman. And another face-off coming up here. Twisted free by Arceri, and he wins it for Penn State. Here at Nittany Lions. The British Columbia native has such a dangerous shot that we just saw his eighth goal of the season. He had three last week, a graduate student, and he's a three-time All-American, two-time All-Big Ten selection. Face-off twisted free, one by Penn State, and quickly right in there, Jackson Reynolds, right there, right in front of the net, just an easy quick shot into the back of the net, off the post and in. Right on the doormat, there was a little confusion whether that crossed the line I thought it might have gone off the post officials go right over the goal and say yeah that ball's in so Penn State on the board Jackson Reynolds second of the season and finally Penn State getting their offensive mojo this game is wide open very little defense so far as they scrum for it at midfield towards our right important faceoff controlled by Ohio State still loose and now working in transition over the center line Ohio State with the draw control and transition trying away from the the school record set by Logan Shaws, who, who currently has 147 as of right as of the record. And the way this game is going, John, it seems like he has actually a chance to catch that in this game. He has two goals already, and we're not even at halftime. The score is seven to five, so faceoff is tussled free and won by Penn State. All-time record in Ohio State lacrosse history. He seems to be on pace for that, Kyle. The way things are going in this game, we're not even at halftime, already has three. 6.41 to go in this half. Faceoff twisted free, it's scooped up by Arceri, and he is tussled and pestered by a couple of Buckeyes, and he tosses it off, so Penn State yeah, Frenzy is a good word, lots of offense on, that in, on display in that first half. Faceoff at the X, Penn State in their white uniforms will be traversing. No idea what Penn State is doing, trying to work in transition, but they just turn it over in front, and Myers is gonna score that one probably 10 out of 10 times. Yeah, I mean, Ohio State, they have been very lethal in the open field so far, and that 
possession over there by Iowa State has proved it yet once again how lethal this team is. Sixth of the season for Jack Myers. And Ohio State gets it right back, looking to take the lead, have it for Ohio some. And Trey LeClaire, he couldn't locate the ball. Penn State capitalized that, and Penn State now has the lead once again. Draw twisted free towards our right. Ohio State scoops it up, they're gonna get it back. LeClaire to the back of the net. It was shocking indeed. I was very impressed by that. That Good, was great shot by TJ Malone. Heck of a shot there. Faceoff has a couple of guys tussling and falling down on their feet. And Gerard Arceri stays with it, and he scoops it up for Penn State. Now 18 away from that NCAA goal record. He'll need to pick up the pace a little bit if he wants to catch it. What a offensive powerhouse for the Nittany Lions over the last couple of years as Ohio State gets the ball back. He definitely had a wide open lane to rip it right past right here. John, I mean, Ohio State needs to start sustaining some pressure here as this would be an important faceoff for them to win. And Asio does it for the Scarlet and Gray, and he tosses it off towards the near side. But just John, just directing they, traffic towards the crease area, maybe simplify your game a little bit. If you have a lane, take it and get it on net. Definitely, and also cause a little bit of commotion on the Penn State defensive rotations. I mean, that's been a struggle for them all year so far. Face off to our Sari. He wins the clamp. Cause a loose ball opportunity. And I say regain control right to Hughes, right in front of the net and past Kniss. Yeah, my apologies there. That was Griffin Hughes. I mean, Hughes is a, a sniping machine. We talk a lot about LeClaire as Ohio State wins the draw and gets it back here. But Hughes is another scoring machine. He gets his first goal of this game as Ohio State turns it over in the midfield and now working in transition. Come the Nittany Lions, a sloppy play there from Ohio State as they send game alone. Guess what? He has 10 shots on goal. What a performance from TJ Malone tonight. I mean, today. I mean, TJ Malone on that up on that attack, he happened to confuse two defenders with that little spin move to get right to the net, right in front, and pass Skylar Wallen. So the three goal cushion for the Nittany Lions. Important draw here. Face-off violation on our series. Had a couple of those today. So it will be Ohio State ball. That was the goal Penn State needed here to feel a little bit more comfortable. And Arceri wins the draw as he twists it free and nudges it all the way towards his own end, takes it out of his own territory. And as he won the draw, he tosses it off to Burns and gets off. Looks like Penn State, they're trying to. Ohio State not done yet. No, they're not out of this. In lacrosse, you may be down, but you're not out. And Penn State and Ohio State, they have had a lot of close games over the past couple of years. This is another one of them. I mean, if you just take a look at the rankings, these teams are close. Number 12 for Ohio State, number 14 for Penn State. The score, huge face off coming up here. Twisted free, winning the clamp there is Arceri. And Arceri has some space to work with. In transition, quickly shot, great house from Jack Myers in his seventh this season. I mean, this, this is as good as it gets. This is fourth quarter, Lacrosse weather, Panzer Stadium, twisted free. Arceri wins it for the Nittany Lions. On the fast break, Arceri tosses it across. Reynolds. Going to get relieved right here soon for Mac O'Keefe. Face-off violation, I believe, in this game. Eighth of the season for Myers. An important draw here. Tussle free by Arceri. Has it in his own territory. Buckeyes swat at the loose ball. Scooped up there on the near side. Buckeyes will get it back. Right on by Kelly to find him in front of the crease area, kind of having some time and space all alone. Who missed that mis mismatch on Mac O'Keefe? Yeah, it looks like he faked out Skylar Walland as well with a little bit of a fake shot. And as soon as that got him in the air, he went right.